Hey friends, how are you doing? Do you know what I'm getting ready to do? I'm going to go shopping for parts and pieces to make a Christmas treasure box for a child at Miller School who is in need. I've got my list. Let's see what it says. School supplies, books, small toys and games, hair accessories, wrapped snacks. Oh yes, and I also have to pick up a plastic shoe box to put everything in. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm ready, I'm leaving. Let's go, I'll see you in a few. Well, I've got my list and I'm over here at the store. I think I'm gonna hit this Dollar Tree. I'm in a good place because there's a Five Below and a Michael, so I should be able to find everything here. It really doesn't matter where you go. You could go to Fry's even, or Target, or to any other store that has lots of little fun items for a child to enjoy. But pick one of those places and go. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, hi guys. Well, I am just got back from the store and I'm over here finishing cutting out my little tags. These tags were on the bottom of your Christmas treasure box page that you might have uh, printed out. And anyway, I happen to be making two Christmas treasure boxes today because I wanted to show you ideas for both. So I've already finished the one that says boy, fourth through sixth grade. And then it says with love from Phil and Jackie, because Mr. Phil's here. And then I have one that I'm making for girl. And I also made this one for an older girl and um, I'm signing them so they know that these came from a real person at Royal Palms Baptist Church. Now I'm gonna take that and set that over to the side and then get started. Oh, isn't this just crazy, you guys? It's November and we're getting ready for Christmas already. I still have my November, well, Thanksgiving, decorations out, but in honor of all this, I put on a Christmas bell so that I would have some fun. And then I pulled out a little Christmas tree. Can you see it? Isn't it cute? It's right there. And I thought that would be fun decoration for us to remind us that it's about time to get started with Christmas. Okay, I'm going to move this over this direction so you can see what I've got. Okay, are you guys ready? I've got all my stuff. Um, we're going to start out with the girls treasure box first. So I got my plastic shoe box and I'm making sure I take off all the little tags that I don't want her to see. Put that in the garbage. Okay, there we go. There's our box. And then I bought, oh no, we're gonna start with the boys box. That's what's in this bag. So we'll start there. I got him a game. Um, the boy that I'm working on is an older boy. So, you know, fourth or fifth grader. I got him a little game. It's kind of one of those funny things where you put that thing in your mouth and try to talk. That's what that is. It should be funny for him to have. Got him some markers and some Frosty Nerds. Not just any kind of nerds, but Frosty Nerds. Let's see. Need to pack this right so that it all fits in. I got him, it said hair accessories and I don't know, some boys do stuff with their hair and some don't. So I just got him a little pack of combs, all different types of combs. And then, oh, I got him a funny little Hot Wheel car. I thought he might enjoy that. And, um, oh, this is pretty hilarious. You turn this thing on, it's a nose thing and you turn it on and look, it lights up so you put it on your nose. I thought not every boy's gonna appreciate that, but 
you know, most boys, they like to do weird things. So anyway, that's that. And then I found him um, this kind of a, well, kind of looks like a dart and kind of looks like a football. I thought it'd be fun to throw. And then it's got this like, almost like an arrow. It's like a cross between all kinds of things. So anyway, I got that. I thought that might be fun to play with outside if he wants to go outside and play a little bit. Then I picked up one of our Palm Pal uh, water bottles. In fact, if you want to put one of these in your box, just let me know. I have plenty. I have some left over from the thing that the Palm Pals did earlier. Oh look, that just fits very fine right there. And then I just bought some, a little package of socks because I thought you can never have enough socks if you ask me. And then I got him a pencil and a pen. And here's some little rainbow snacks. They're just some fun snacks to have. And I think I got, I got some, oh yeah. I got him a notebook to go with his markers and his pen and his pencil. So let's stick that in there. Boy, you have to really work at this to make sure everything fits. When I was in the store at the dollar store, I would I bought the box. I picked up the shoe boxes first, and then I went around and tried to find things that fit inside of there. In here are candy canes, and I thought they're individually wrapped. So I thought, well, that would be fun to give both of them a few candy canes. So um, let's see if I can open this. There's two candy canes. I might put more in. It is Christmas after all. And then two other things I got for his box. One is this funny headband to make him look like an elf. I thought that was pretty hilarious. So there's that funny headband to go on top. And then at church, one of the things I want to add into all the boxes, I have a whole bunch of these books called The Gospel Story. And really, they're just, um, it's a picture, and then it has a story, all the major stories in the Bible written in short form for any kid to read. I am hoping I have enough to put in every box, but I probably have several, but... Um, I probably have about 30 of them. So I'll put, I'll slide those in at the last minute for you. Um, then I'm gonna see if I can put my lid on. I can, there is a spot right here. So I'm gonna have to work on it, but I'll do that later when you're not watching. And then I'm gonna take my tag that says boy and I'm going to just tape it right on the top. That way everybody knows, okay? So there's the boy list. What are some other things we could get um, boys? We could get them a pack of cards, some dominoes, uh, travel games. Um, you might um, get some of those slipper socks. Some people like to wear those when it's cold outside. Um, maybe some different, maybe crayons for a little kid. Maybe if he was a little boy, uh, maybe a, a little car, like a dump truck or little small sized, you know, trucks or emergency vehicles that are little for playing with. Okay, so there's my boy box. Now let's see what I got for the girl. So, let's see if I can pack this in. I got a sun catcher painting set. That fits right in the bottom and some markers. I got her a little notebook. 
and some Haribo gold bears, you know, gummy bears. Those things are so good. Most kids like those. You cannot go wrong with those. Oh, I got her some little slipper socks. I thought those were cute and would be comfy when it's cold outside. I think I'm gonna slide that in the side. And, oh, I got her some, some glitter slime. Not just slime, glitter slime. They say that that is like the going thing right now. That and silly putty stuff. So I got that for her too. I could have done a lot of other things. I could have got um, some more of the sun catchers or whatever. But I wanted to save room for hair accessories. Because I'm going for an older girl, I wanna make sure that I have some nice looking hair accessories in here. So I got her a nice brush and um, some fun, uh, you know, stretchy bands for your hair, or her hair, that is. Then, oh, I got her this really nice little bow and a pen and a pencil slide these things in there. Maybe I'll go like this with that. Oh, there it goes. There's that. Want to make sure I put a couple of bars in there. And let's give her some candy canes. I made sure they weren't broken. There's nothing worse than getting a broken candy cane. And look at this, isn't it cute? It's a, a Santa's hat, but it's got glitter on it. I don't know about you ladies, but I love glitter. So I just went, oh my gosh, I gotta get this one. It's got glitter. So we're gonna put that in there. Oh, and I forgot, I brought her one of these Palm Pal water bottles. Water bottles are always good to have around, especially here in Phoenix, where it gets so hot. Okay, I got those all in there. Cute. That looks good. Oh, and here's our book, the Gospel Story Book. I got one for her, too. Now, let's see if we can get this one shut without me having to do work on it later. Where's, oh, here it is. I'm goofy. Anyway, we'll put the lid on. Oh, I think I may have to, when I do the other one, check how I've got the book in there. The book might be, you know, on the edge. So there's that. And then here's my girl, and I marked fourth, fifth grade girl, and with love from Jackie and Phil. And then I'm just gonna tape that on there. And my two boxes are ready to go. Now what's something else you might get a girl? You could get her a little paint set, um, a little bit bigger one, or maybe more than one, maybe a little craft kit, um, if she's an older girl especially. I noticed puzzles, I almost bought puzzles, those are always fun, books, if it's a little child, a younger child, a first, second, or third grader, you might be able to get some of the younger books at the dollar store. I didn't see any older kid books at the dollar store that I went to, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. So those would all be alternatives that are good. Um, another, a, a better game, a bigger game, um, one that would fit in here, of course, but maybe a travel game of some sort that a girl might like Scrabble or, um, oh, oh, maybe a doll, a doll or a stuffed animal. You could even have a stuffed animal in a boy's box. There's lots of things for you to choose from and lots of ways to make a child happy that may not get anything for Christmas at all. So... I hope you enjoy. Oh, I was going to tell you, my whole thing here costs twenty-four dollars, and then some tax. So if you have some of the things already purchased, it's not going to cost you that much. 
and just remember to have them there by with all this information on there it needs to be at the church by the i think it's the 13th i'm not seeing it on here yep there it is december 13th by december 13th we're going to be giving them to the school the next day or so after that okay hey you guys make sure also whenever you're done with your boxes be thinking about the child that's going to receive that and maybe pray for them pray that they will open their gospel story and read all the different stories about Jesus, about God, about the stories that are in the Bible. And then at the, what I really like about this book is it talks about how God has a plan at the bottom of every page. And if a child would read this, it might impact them, not for just today, but for all eternity. So pray for those children that they would read this and understand what God wants them to know. Hey, thanks guys for helping do this. You're all wonderful.